Results for Q1 last year reflected those very high interest rates. And against this background, the limited reduction in earnings is a result of continued prudent management of interest margins and tight expense control. Specifically, net interest income reduced by $784 million, or 12% year over year, due to the decrease in market rates. However, this was partially offset by an increase of $230 million, or 87% in insurance revenue, and a $336 million increase, or 29% increase, in other non-interest revenue. Total operating expenses of $3.733 billion were essentially flat over Q1 2010. Earnings per share for the quarter were 8.3 or 83 cents compared to 86 cents for the same period last year. Return on average equity was 19.16% re representing a decrease from 23.2% last year. However, the directors have declared a first quarter dividend of 37 cents per share, which is consistent with last year. Turning to subsidiary contribution, for the first quarter, the contribution by the insurance and investment subsidiaries increased to 41% and 13% respectively when compared with the contributions from the fit for the fiscal year ending October 2010. Scotia Jamaica Life's net income for the quarter was $1.065 billion, up by $55 million when compared with the same quarter last year. Reductions in net interest income have been more than offset by increased insurance revenue, as new products offered, introduced during fiscal 2010, have started having a meaningful impact on the company's bottom line. Scotia DBG Investments net income for the quarter after minority interest was $321 million, a reduction of 16% over Q1 2010. Scotia Investments has seen a significant negative impact on net interest income as a result of the JDX. However, strong growth in the company's unit trust and mutual fund business, together with a reduction in total operating expenses year over year, were able to mitigate uh, the greatest extent of the reduction. In the bank, the net income was $1.07 billion, down $95 million when compared to last year. Total assets grew by $10 billion between 2009 and 2010 and stabilized in the first quarter of 2011 at almost $326 billion. Over the past year, our loan book grew by $1.2 billion due to aggressive sales efforts in both the retail and commercial banking divisions in our efforts to grow market share by leading the market in reductions in interest rates. Shareholders' equity grew to $55 billion as a result of the internally generated profits. Scotia Group Jamaica continues to enjoy the strongest capital base of any financial institution in Jamaica and puts us in a good position to capitalize on any growth or expansion opportunities that may arise. We also continue to comfortably exceed capital adequacy requirements in all of our business lines despite the increase in risk weighting on foreign currency denominated government debt, which has increased from 0% at the beginning of the year to 37.5% by the end of December. We, we continue we continued our consistent dividend payments during 2010 that we had during 2010, providing a reliable source of cash flow to meet the needs of our shareholders. Turning now to the recognition that we have received, and Scotia Group Jamaica continues to receive recognition locally and internationally, and we had 18 local and international awards. Over the past year, we received four major awards from two international organizations, Global Finance Magazine and Euromoney Awards for Excellence. We were recognized as the best consumer internet bank in Jamaica, the best foreign exchange provider, the best emerging market bank in the country, and the best bank in Jamaica. The group also won three awards in the Jamaica Stock Exchange Best Practices Awards, the Best Practices Corporate Disclosure and Investor Relations, Best Practices in the PSOJ Corporate Governance, and Best Practices on the website in stock brokerages for Scotia DBG. 
In addition, AmCham rec uh, recognized the group for the AmCham Jamaica Award of Excellence for Corporate Social Responsibility. Uh, we received many other awards, including from the Celeste International Film Festival for our Teller TV series. We were recognized by the Jamaica Business Council on HIV AIDS for our contribution to Jamaica National HIV AIDS response within the work workplace. As the chairman indicated, through both Scotia Jamaica Foundation and the bank, we continue to show huge commitment to the country with a contribution of $126 million between November 2009 and October 2010. We're pleased to advise that since the establishment of the foundation in 1996, we've donated through the foundation alone $690 million to projects and programs throughout Jamaica. This past year we continued many of the programs we've been recognized for. In healthcare, we continue to support scoliosis surgery through Kingston Public Hospital. We assisted Bustamante Hospital for Children with heart surgery equipment. We continue to maintain the Jamaica Cancer Society's mobile mammography unit providing screening for women, mainly in rural Jamaica. We continue to support the accident and emergency units at the University Hospital of the West Indies and the Port Antonio <coughs> Hospital. We provided 15 new scholarships for outstanding GSAT scholars and provide ongoing support for over 100 students and for scholarships in hospitals and or high schools and especially <coughs> children from inner city communities that particularly need that assistance. We also continue to fund the Scotiabank Chair in Entrepreneurship at the University of Technology to assist the small, medium, and micro-enterprise sector of the economy. Most importantly, though, I feel proud of the work of our Scotia volunteers who continue to provide support to charities both that the bank is involved in and other organizations across Jamaica, including National Labor Day activities, uh, Teachers' Day, and National Reading Day. Strategically, what did we accomplish last year? As indicated by the Chairman, we were the first to launch mobile banking in Jamaica in June of 2010, which provides our customers with yet another alternative to interact with the bank, and especially a free channel with which to interact with the bank uh, to provide more economical options to our customers. We launched Mobile Merchant Point of Sale, which allows us wireless service to merchants to give them greater flexibility in processing payments. Scotia Jamaica Life launched the Scotia Retirement Income Fund in July 2010 and is an annuity product which provides a regular stream of income to retirees during the course of their retirement. We established a Capital Markets Advisory Services Group in Scotia DBG that provide additional services to our corporate and commercial clients seeking alternate funding options. We continue to invest in our online banking channel, um, increasing functionality such as cross-currency transfers and credit card applications. And we continue to execute our strategy of focusing on unit trusts and mutual funds so that our customers on the wealth management side are able to achieve greater returns. And during the year, our, our off-balance sheet business increased in Scotia DBG by over 26%. And at the end of, the, of October, our unit trust funds represented 62% of the total unit trust industry, compared to 49% the year before. A truly exceptional job by the team at Scotia DBG Investments. Looking to 2011 and what you can expect from your group this year, we'll continue to focus on increasing profitability and growth in our customer base through the following strategies. First of all, we'll focus on increasing market share in underrepresented segments, including retail mortgage segment, small business, and the mid-market commercial segment. Our strategies will include new product offerings, more efficient processes for faster response times, and increased staff training 
so that our staff can become more effective in identifying client needs and interacting with our customers. Through this holistic needs identification process, together with strong internal referral program, our goal is to increase the share of wallet of our existing customers, customers that are impacting with the bank, um, we want to see interacting with the wealth management, interacting and doing business with the insurance business so that for our, across our customer base, we can have a larger percentage of the total business. We'll continue to invest in enhancing customer experience as this remains a key priority for the group. We also have initiatives underway to expand our distribution channels to provide more efficient and convenient options for customers to access financial products and services. However, most important, we'll continue to invest in leadership. It remains the single defining strength that keeps us the institution of choice in Jamaica. We'll continue to assure that we attract, train, and retain the very best leadership team in the financial service industries. Our people continue to be the foundation on which our success has been based. The entire team of over 2,000 members of Scotia Group Jamaica are absolutely focused in providing shareholders, customers and the wider Jamaican community with opportunities to achieve their financial goals and realize their dreams. And I'm extremely proud to lead a team that by any measure is truly world class. Our success at Scotia Bank is founded on our people. It's attributable to their skills, motivation, and passion to serve our customers. We value all of our employees. One of our goals is to be recognized consistently as an employer of choice in Jamaica, and we strive for an always higher level of employee satisfaction and, and engagement. In closing, on behalf of management and the entire 2,000 plus team of Scotia Group Jamaica, I want to thank our board members both of the parent board and all of the affiliates and subsidiaries for the role they have played in oversight as we strive to maintain and deepen our leadership position in the financial services industry. And we thank you, our shareholders, for your continued confidence in us and assure you that we will make every effort to ensure that 2011 is another profitable and strong year for Scotia Group Jamaica. Thank you very much.